All righty. Episode four. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> I do I do have an, another confession. I feel like that's how we start every single episode. <laughs> I did not watch the movie oh. strictly because this week was so busy, but I will make the time. And like, I could have watched it, but I, it, I couldn't like sit down and fully be in there and just really just critique Super it. Super bad, right? Yes. Well. But it's okay. It's okay. Yeah. It'd be like that sometimes. Well, this morning, uh, I woke up and I needed to do a bunch of stuff, so I put on Titanic on tape <laughs> and pretty much like listened to the audio without watching it <laughs> while I was doing stuff. That is such a. And random. then after it, I was just like, I just felt really uneasy. <laughs> yeah, I bet. And then here we are. It's such. I pretty a, much just got done watching it. It's such a random movie. Just to turn on and do your own thing. Yeah, it was a. You need to watch that one. I, I was kind of like, while I was watching, I wish that you had, uh, I told you to watch that one instead yeah. of Superbad. So maybe you watch that one first. I'm <laughs> going to have to sit down. It's so two good, though. Days. It's it's actually, it's really good. I know. Maybe I'll do that on summer break. Okay, summer break. You're going to need a whole summer break, pretty much. <laughs> oh, yeah. Dude, this is like, this is really random, but. Who on earth is eating all the bananas that comes with the bananas? You know what I mean? No. Like, what <laughs> other fruit do you have to buy like eight of them at once? Apples. Why can't I buy just one banana? Apples. Well, you can buy. You can one buy apple. singular apples. You but can't. I mean, the same thing there. Like I don't eat all of them, but like bananas literally only come in packs of like eight. And like then it. you eat two, and then the rest room. Yes, yeah. I'm like, I might want one banana in this <laughs> three day span where they're green the, before the three days, and then they're black after that. That's why you make banana bread. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I cannot bake. It would if I made banana bread or anything like that. It would probably taste like farts. <laughs> Life cycle <of> banana. <laughs> <laughs> yes, dude. It like well, honestly, but, I have beef with bananas, dude, because. They, like, you can't, yeah, you can't eat them fast enough. <laughs> but it, bananas aren't good enough to be that high maintenance. You know what I mean? That's true. But the, it's the same thing with, like, avocados. But Avo you can buy singular avocados. Oh. That's my whole beef with them. Like, what That's other fruit do you have to buy, like, a whole batch of them? <laughs> <laughs> you can do that? I have no idea. At the Dollar General, you just scan like a little QR code for each banana and you get it. Really? The more you know, you, you can, can buy scan singular bananas. Single banana. Dude. There are like 60 to 70 Okay, well, I feel like this is not public knowledge. And if I'm wrong, I guess I'm the biggest idiot of all time because. Well, I didn't know that. But then again, I don't be buying my own meals yet. <laughs> I'm still I'm still a child. Yeah, living off mama and daddy's money. <laughs> <laughs> Eating their meals. Anyways, yeah, that was just something I thought of. I'm like, dude. Because we buy bananas and we'll be like, we need to eat these bananas because they're going bad. But I'm just like, I don't I don't want one. And then they're all <laughs> just black and it's just <laughs> 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 What the heck? <laughs> Good old Reddit. Look at the <laughs> <laughs> they're not really little when they're green. I mean, I guess when they're when bananas are born. I don't <laughs> Is that what you, when they go out of the womb. <laughs> <laughs> when the little banana leaves the nest. Okay. Well, anyways, that was my. Uh, that was just a quick point I wanted to make. Uh, <laughs> okay then. <laughs> um, <laughs> I have written here goats. Just goats. <laughs> <laughs> I do have a thing, a question about goats, though. Really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we are just on the same wavelength, dude. I do. How did you know? <laughs> I don't know, man. You be going on my notes app. <laughs> <laughs> Would you rather be roommates with a goat or a bird? <laughs> okay, now we're talking. All right, let me think about this. Let me really think about this. A goat or a bird? Uh, I'm gonna say a bird. 
I'll say a bird for sure because goats eat everything. Like I feel like true. if I leave any cords out or like <laughs> <laughs> any like important uh, objects are lying around, it will. Oh my god! Okay, does it have to be a <laughs> ostrich? <laughs> that changes things a bit. Or is that an emu? What? It, wait, what kind of bird like that is blue? Oh, it's a peacock, is it? Yeah. Well, that's not. They look awfully like... They look <laughs> a, awfully lot like uh, ostriches. Oh, we got it. I don't know if I said that right. Oh. Yeah, I've never heard of that. Maybe I have. But it yeah, no... has got no, a I, nice toe pick. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, what was that with the belly hanging out? Ooh. <laughs> Disgusting. Yeah, a goat... Uh, would just like eat all my stuff and goats are a little I don't know they're a little demonic looking and they're very stubborn yeah and then like if I one thing that comes to mind is I'm gonna have to clean up their poop probably a lot and yeah. bird poop isn't really like nasty to me it's just white you know yeah uh <laughs> and like if you had a bird like that I mean that's beautiful yeah. You know what I mean? They're like they're like, whoa. <laughs> whoa. <laughs> you seen that video? No. There it's like these kids at a uh they're at like a museum and it says the blue jay and you can click the different buttons and it says what they like how the bird sounds. And uh they click the blue jay one and it does like this tweet or whatever. <laughs> and he goes, It doesn't sound like that. It sounds like it sounds like whoa, <laughs> whoa. Because a regular show. <laughs> oh, <laughs> But yeah, no, I would definitely, I would definitely choose a bird. If the goat was raised right, I would pick the goat because I, we'd be beefing over at the house with birds right now because they'd be making stupid mud nests and they'd be, (laughs) I was letting the dogs out and they all, the, okay, they have like scouts and they will come and like swoop around the entire yard and they kept getting closer and closer and i was fixing to i was scared for my life oh my my oh look See, at his hands uh, it's scary to me <laughs> why does it why do they have horns like that it's scary but no i think uh what i wanted to say about goats while well, i have it in my notes is do you remember we had goats it was really no. me because y'all were y'all were young, but yeah. Oh my gosh, dude, that is horrifying. Is that the goat man? <laughs> Where I went to college, they had a they had Goat Man's Bridge. You heard of that? No. Yeah, uh, you know that show. What's the one the uh, Ghost Adventures? You know, have you heard of that? They go to haunted places. Yeah. And they, yeah. They went there. Like, it was legit enough for them to go do an episode there. Oh, wow. Yeah, and uh, people would go from my school. Like, they would hear the legend of Goatman's Bridge. And you have to drive out into the middle of nowhere. I never went. I kind of wanted to, but there was just nobody to go with, I guess. But, uh, yeah, you go out in the middle of nowhere. And there's just this bridge out there. And they said that it's like Goatman. And I guess that's what that actually was. But... <laughs> Anyways, uh, goat, yeah, I had, I had two goats for some reason. I guess we knew somebody that was just getting rid of goats <laughs> and our mom and dad allowed me to get these goats and there was an older female and mm-hmm. a younger male. And I don't know if it was his mom or what. <laughs> they looked different. <laughs> I don't know how goat <laughs> genetics work. <laughs> Mmm, so cute and cuddly. <laughs> but uh, we kept, we built like a little enclosure for them. You know, like the, the fencing that's like squares. Like yeah. This? It's like about that yay big. Mm-hmm. Okay, well, anyways, we surrounded the whole cage in that. They had like a tree in there, and then they had a bunch of rocks because they like to climb. Oh, nice. And I guess I assume we had like a couple troughs in there. But anyways, we kept coming home from like school and work or whatever, and... Well, first of all, I named them Troy and Josie. That's what I named them, bro. That's... I was like, I was like eight, maybe younger. I don't know. Where'd you get Josie from? <laughs> Our grandparents had a dog named Josie a long time ago. 
And I just always like that name, I guess. So yeah, Troy and jo- Troy from the movie Lloyd. <laughs> oh, that's too good. Troy and Josie, okay. And when we kept coming home, Troy would be out in the yard. And we're like, what is, how did he get out? Like, the thing's way too tall for him to jump. What and in like, the Houdini? Can't, there's no openings. Like, we <laughs> looked, we made sure there wasn't like a hole, nothing. And it happened like two or three times. So me and dad were like, we got to do a stakeout. So we go <laughs> into like our woods or like around by the pond. And we just, we just literally wait there. Probably for like a good <clears throat> 20 or 30 minutes. Dude, we just start hearing like a. Like that. And we're like, what is that? It just keeps happening. We look around the corner. Dude, Troy's got his head like through the little square. And Josie's like backing up and <laughs> running and ramming into him like a freaking ram, dude. Oh my until, word. Until until literally he she hit him so many times that like he kept inching forward until his arms were through and he contorted all the way through one of those little squares. <laughs> and as soon as he got through, he just started running around. <laughs> I don't know what was the point. It's like, she can't get out. So I don't know why she's just wanting to do this repeated <laughs> escape mission just for Troy. Like She should have been like, hey, it's like, my turn. Yeah. She's like, go save yourself. <laughs> she would have been way too big. I think the only reason he could manage to squeeze through is because he was a young goat. He was a little boy. <laughs> but yeah, so needless to say, we got rid of the goats. <laughs> It's a it's a cra- just, it's a trip that I ever had goats. That's so weird to me. I don't understand why y'all didn't just get a fence that didn't have big old huge. They were all just squares. causing some mayhem like that. I feel like. <laughs> and then of course you know I got the goats. I was all excited, and then I got bored of them like yeah. after a week. But you know like our mom was like another dog. No no no. She's like goats. She's like. <laughs> <laughs> That's right on my and and pig. Oh yeah, she had a little pig before. That was... No, not a little pig. She had a big fat pig, and she had to rub sunscreen all over it because it would get sunburnt. <laughs> she never had a big big fat pig. She had a pig. I don't know yes, how fat it was. It was, a little, it was <laughs> a little like it was like a little chihuahua sized pig. You know, those, oh, that's well, the they made they it. A... They made it seem like it was a huge fat pig. <laughs> mom, and all our the mom ain't having no pot belly pig, dude. It was like a little one that you could keep in the house. Oh. Yeah, I saw a home video of it, like, running through the house. I'm like, y'all were such different people <laughs> back then. I'd be trying to get them to let me get some chickens, and it ain't uh, it ain't going too hot. Dude, I don't think I would want chickens. I'm going to be honest. I do. I haven't worked at a egg farm. <laughs> you, you've you seen things that you should not see. Yeah, but, I mean, it would be cool to go get some, like, eggs from them and stuff, but I feel like... If I had some here, they'd just get mauled by a coyote. <laughs> <laughs> well, one of our chickens got mauled again. You remember that scene from a uh, from Barnyard, where he's like, "Oh, I won't." Back yes. Down. yes. <laughs> and the coyotes are in the the chicken coop. Oh, that's that's a good movie. I need to watch that again. I need to give that a rewatch. Okay, I have a very interesting question. Okay, let's hear it. Okay, how many chickens do you think would kill an elephant? <laughs> <laughs> That's a good question. Mm. An elephant, dude? <laughs> I'm going to be honest. I think it's going to take like at least a thousand. For sure. <laughs> and that might not even be enough. I can't oh, yeah, even... Look at that one. Look at that one. Look at the video. This has already happened. There's like two chickens. And a baby elephant. Oh, it's a baby, yeah. Okay, this is an epic (laughs) battle. (laughs) What in the world? (laughs) Upload.cheeseburger.com. Wow. (laughs) Top 10 anime battles of all time. (laughs) Okay. Uh, yeah, no, I think it's going to probably take at least a thousand. <laughs> yeah, I, I figure too. And I still don't even think that would be enough. Like an elephant, dude. What in the... All an elephant's got to do is like thrash for a second. <laughs> and it's going to stomp out at yeah, least half s- of them. Yeah. Oh, 
what in the chicken little did we miss? <laughs> <coughs> oh, I get it. <laughs> That's uh, some weird humor. Somebody somebody took the time to draw all that out, color it beautifully, I, m- I might say. <laughs> Yeah, that's a. Uh, yeah. Anyways, not sure that would be too epic of a matchup. What in the? I think chickens are just a little bit too low on the food chain. Well, I feel <laughs> like they could really do some damage with their. <laughs> some damage. <laughs> <laughs> I am a two year old. Um, <laughs> do some damage with their beaks. <laughs> um. Okay, I have a, another thing, uh, another question. Why is it illegal to kill rattlesnakes? Did you know that? No. It's illegal to kill rattlesnakes in Texas. But I'm like, what? Like that's a poisonous animal that could kill your, that kill you and or your children. Like, there's several. They- there's several. <laughs> random things that you like can't kill i think it's probably because i wonder if it's because rattlesnakes um kill so much other stuff oh the only place where it's legal to kill a snake is inside a state park where killing a snake is considered a misdemeanor however the department of parks and wildlife strongly discourage people from killing snakes because the creature are important yeah i mean but that's they, not even touching on rattlesnakes specifically because- but they kill they kill like rats and stuff. Yeah, but a rat ain't gonna kill me. <laughs> That's yeah, thing but I'm like, like, there's so much cr- diseases and crap that rats bring. Yeah, I guess that's true. But aren't there other snakes? I'm just like, rats. I, I mean, maybe if we're in New York, <laughs> rats are a problem. Then it's like, yeah, don't kill the rattlesnakes. <laughs> but I mean. You're, it's a poisonous reptile, and we're higher on the food chain. It's just like, I'd say if I'm going to see a poisonous, like, if I see a poisonous rattlesnake in my backyard, and I've got kids and pets or whatever, yeah. and a wife and a, like, a little <laughs> cottage, am I supposed to just let them slither on by? Like, like I think, I mean, you could move it. <laughs> <laughs> Dude. Um, I guess, I, but I, I mean, I but we can kill other like people kill other snakes like the water moccasin or whatever. However yeah, you say it. yeah, you can kill those all day. You well, can kill well, I figured out the other day. Mouths. Someone told me that a possum, if that you know, if they get stuck bit, what do you say, bit by a snake? Mm-hmm. <laughs> you get they, stung by a snake. It's got a stinger two- in the back of it with its tail. Rattlesnake. The rattle. <laughs> it rattles it to death. It's like. <laughs> <laughs> no, but they, there's something that po- possums have. Oh, dude, I don't want to look that at that. The, <laughs> that the poison doesn't do any damage to. Oh, them. I have heard that. Is it a possum? I'm, I, I'm Might be an armadillo. Sh- it's one I've heard that two. about something, yeah. It's one of the animals that get <clears throat> ran over in Texas. Like, no. <laughs> yeah, there's like a whole little, there's a, a genus of I'm not, animals. I'm like. not kidding you. I've seen on the road just this morning, like probably 10 armadillos. Dude, I feel like we live in the, in the roadkill belt of America. Yes. There's so much roadkill around. I feel like they need to be doing some street lights for these animals. <laughs> Come on, it's time for y'all to walk through. There's no cars coming. But yeah, that's just like I don't know. That <clears throat> like you said with the like biting technically isn't the only way snakes kill people, you know, the boa constrictor. Hmm? Have you you know the, about the boa constrictor? Boic? Boa. Boa. B O A. Boa constrictor. It kills animals by wrapping around them. Yes. And every time it breathes in, it squeezes harder and harder mm-hmm. until it suffocates it. And can't those get super huge? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, anyways. I hate snakes so bad, I'm probably going to have nightmares about them tonight from looking at them. Um, But that, that reminds me of one thing I remember mom said a long time ago. <laughs> like a long time ago. She said, um, 
She said, I don't understand why they can't just go ahead and just kill all the sharks. So then we don't have to worry about, like, we people can go to the beach and swim in the ocean yeah. and not have to worry. <laughs> I'm just like, uh, well, first of all, like, how many freaking sharks are there in the For ocean? For real! And how are you supposed to track them all down across the entire ocean? <laughs> just to have, just to prevent like the one shark attack that happens yearly. <laughs> she really said that though with conviction. She's like, she was like, why don't they just go ahead and kill <laughs> all of the sharks? <laughs> Mom, it's a little bit more difficult to do that <laughs> yeah, than you think. It's a little think. easier said than done. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, like when you're at when you're at the beach, they have the helicopter <clears throat> to see if there are sharks nearby. Oh, really? In Florida, they do. Dude, whenever we were at the beach last year, I did see a helicopter going by several times, but that, I didn't know what it was for. That's what it's for. Really? Because if they see a shark on site, they'll tell everybody to get no. out of the water. I did not know that. The more you know. <clears throat> sharks are fascinating though i actually spent quite a a lot of time last week reading about actually the megalodon i was reading a lot about the megalodon for some reason just went down a rabbit hole sharks freak me out. <laughs> shark helicopter look <laughs> that's what they look, should do on one. the one with <laughs> what the heck shark helicopter well since mom wants sharks extinct what animal or insect would you want extinct? Oh, snakes, easy. It's the only it's the only animal that I have an irrational fear of. You know what like, mine would be? Uh, what? Ants. Ants is Hate a good one. Ants with a burning passion. Ants is if a good one. If they don't stay out of my garden, we're gonna I'm fixing to beef it up. Is that what a fire ant looks like? Probably. That's why it hurts so freaking bad when they bite you. Well, I would assassinate all of them. Yeah, ants would be a good one. I would probably say like mosquitoes. Yeah. If I if if not for uh snakes. Like I thoroughly enjoy when an ant is just walking on the concrete and I just freaking get my finger and just slice it through the concrete. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, mosquitoes are disturbing. I know, dude. Like they eat blood. <laughs> That's they're, they're the like, vampire of the animal. It's like, I gotta go get me some fruit punch. I'll be or be. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude, I cannot stand mosquitoes. Like, I'm itching just thinking about them. Um, yeah, see, what else? What did I find out about the Megalodon? Um, I did not realize that they have found teeth. Like, obviously, there's no bones and a shark's mm -hmm. body, including the megalodon. <clears throat> so all we have to go off of is its teeth, really. That's mm -hmm. like the only thing left in its jaw, like which they've found. But they have found... Why is she smiling <laughs> being in the megalodon's mouth? I'd be smiling if I was there. It'd be cool to see that. I wouldn't be smiling. I'd be like, this thing has been on the earth. <laughs> no, I'm going right. to head out. No, they found uh, teeth and fossils... Of, off of every coast in the world. I think besides Antarctica, it said. Yeah, they were that prevalent. Like, they found them. You can see a map, and they were just literally everywhere. <clears throat> What's so mind-boggling to me is, like, how can this be real? Like, why can't they just make this up and it just be like, oh, we found this, like, <laughs> and <laughs> no, it's just the made fact that there's up. bones, it's just un- Indisputable, indisputable uh, evidence. Yeah, their teeth are serrated too, which I didn't know. So is a shark's, but mm -hmm. a megalodon's is like evenly serrated, which is kind of interesting. Also, yeah, look, it said they're the biggest tooth they've ever found was like six point nine inches. Dang. Yeah. I would like to see a shark, and an alligator go that would be a good fight yeah i'm sure it's happened in florida somewhere oh probably <laughs> they'd be like oh it's happening again it probably <laughs> happens so much Do i, I think i if if 
I think I would rather get killed by an alligator than a shark. You think so? I don't know, because alligators, I mean, they freak me out, too, but, you know. Oh, jeez, that's a tough choice. A Which shark way? would just, oh my God. a shark is, is so, ugh. I mean, a, an alligator slash crocodile, that's literally a dinosaur. Yeah. It is a dinosaur. But I think I'd rather go down by a shark. Just because it's a more classic <laughs> It's a death. classic way to go. <laughs> yeah. I mean, a shark attack. That's a, you know. I would, uh, well, a shark I have would more respect be, for a shark, I guess. A shark would, your I think death I'd, time would be faster. With a shark? Yeah. For sure. Yeah, I agree. But like an alligator is going to bite your ankle off. <laughs> or like and I feel then, like they would bite your like thigh and then you'd be slowly it'd be beating like a, and it'd be like a bear trap. Whereas yeah. a shark is just gonna it's just, just gonna tear it's just gonna chew up like a gummy worm. Oh. But I think I just hate reptiles. I think that's what it is. I'm not I don't like reptiles. I'm mostly scared of snakes. But, you know, all <laughs> reptiles just kinda give me the ick. <laughs> now every time I go anywhere that there's alligators, I'm probably gonna be um, watching out for my life, literally, because I done said this. Ooh, chameleons are weird. They are so weird. Yeah. How can they change colors? I know. Ooh, don't even, don't even yeah, get me disturbing. started. Um, so would you rather be trapped in a room with a snake? Or be stuck on a cliff with no way. What do you mean stuck on a cliff? Like like if you're at like say like Mount Everest high, but you were stuck. There was no way down. But you had this. You could see down. And there's just no way down. There's no way down. Jumping or starving mm-hmm. to death. Because those are your two. Or trapped in a room with a snake. Like both situations, I'm gonna die. Like there's no both way. Both situations out. are one of your are your fears. <laughs> okay. Because you're scared uh, of heights. And you uh, uh, despise. What kind of snake does it have to be? Let's say a rattlesnake. A rattlesnake. Let's go bigger. Go go home. Cause I mean I could do that huge one, but we're just we're not gonna do that. <laughs> <laughs> um. So there's no way out of either. There's no way out. Oh my gosh, bro. <laughs> um. <laughs> Dude. I would honestly just let Two Face flip the coin and <laughs> let him choose, dude, because th- those are both equally a nightmare, I think. Because the reality of being that high up is. Like, I know once I got up there, it would just. <laughs> I'm not trying to picture it. <laughs> I guess I would probably choose the snake because I feel like the fear of it all is contained. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like I'm scared of this thing right here. But when I'm on a cliff, I'm just, the fear is has overcome me. The fear is right. everything that I know. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, like that. Something like that. And the I, the con, the contemplation of just jumping or sitting up there to starve to death and then like, it's such trying a, to go to sleep and thinking you might roll off. It's not only like a fear, but it's also a mental <clears throat> battle that you have to be on a yeah. cliff. No, I'm not trying to. I'm not trying to do the cliff. I think I would take a snake over that, and that's saying a lot. That is saying a lot. I'm honestly kind of surprised. Would you rather have to go to prison or go to war? Ooh, um, war. Dang, okay, that wasn't long. Uh, thought. strictly because you're not confined in a space, I don't do well with tight spaces. I'm claustrophobic. Phobic. <laughs> <Damn>. <laughs> I am claustrophobia. <laughs> I am claustrophobia. Small spaces fear me. <laughs> <laughs> so that would be another reason, but I've heard some, like stories about prison regardless of if 
what if you're in a women's only or you know but war it would just i don't know if it if i was fighting for the right reason <laughs> like if i which most wars sadly aren't that way yeah honestly i i would just rather just do fight in the war fight in a war yeah that was that's my answer too i'm not i don't think I would fare too well in prison. <laughs> uh, I, I think either. I would be a easy target. <laughs> I would too. I don't. I think... would just be cracking up some jokes for that aren't even funny. Yeah, I uh, I don't think I'd fare too well. So I think I would rather go be outside and just possibly, you know, Shoot. have my head blown off in battle. I'm gonna be <laughs> Forrest Gump in war. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> I strive to be that. Okay, yeah. But no. honestly, I'm a woman, so I could just be a nurse in the war. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you'd see or some pretty messed up stuff, though. <laughs> yeah, you have one of those little hats. <laughs> they're still, <laughs> they're hats. still. Okay, well, now I know what you mean. But you know. <clears throat> yeah, I would choose that too. I mean, Vietnam War is pretty rough, but like if you went to the the most extreme case scenario that's then that's a tougher question but generally speaking yeah i don't think i'll i don't think i would ever want to go to war i mean uh prison over anything because shoot that would be on your record and yeah so i have something to tell you about prison actually that i researched oh no um so during that's how i'd be looking (laughs) <laughs> where oh With like him <laughs> you got a buzz cut some red some red sunglasses i'm sure they don't let you wear that <laughs> well i would do it anyways <laughs> um so you remember hurricane katrina hurricane katrina more that... like hurricane tortilla <laughs> stupid bro <laughs> <laughs> um, it that was, was like, so good <laughs> forgot about that freaking vine <laughs> um you know okay so it happened i think in 2005 so y'all were literally being birthed that year i like how they show you a hurricane like this and you're like okay they all like this <laughs> yeah well this one was actually off the coast of the it was like the gulf of mexico it wasn't uh it wasn't. It didn't hit Florida like they normally do. I mean, it did. Yeah. I guess this way, but <clears throat> yeah, it was on the Gulf. But anyways, they did a uh, a huge evacuation. I don't know how widespread it was, but basically everywhere that was going to get hit by the hurricane, they they evacuated. Well, in New Orleans, they there was a prison and there was a big debate. Like a dispute whether, you know, what are they what are they going to do about the prisoners? So the sheriff, I guess that's I guess he's in charge of making those type of decisions. But they said that there would be backup generators to turn on in case of power fail like power failure, and they evacuated and just left the prisoners there. Oh okay. my word! So. The backup generators failed, so it was total bat power outage in the whole entire prison <clears throat> for three days. They didn't have any food. There was nobody there. No electricity. It was pitch black for most. Could of they them. not have escaped? The water started filling up to like chest high for the people that were on the first for the inmates that were on the first level. Mm-hmm. Um, I guess somebody, some of the prisoners were able to get out using like pipes or something. They were able to break free and the whole place basically turned into chaos and the prisoners on the first floor, like they, they started working together, I guess, to break everybody out and stuff. And a bunch of people reported, a bunch of inmates reported like, uh, people trying to other inmates trying to kill them. And they were trying to make their way up because it was just filling up with water. They said oh that some of the prisoners, wa- like even on the upper levels or whatever, that weren't getting flooded, the pipes backed up. So toilet water and everything just flooded all over the ground. They said that there was, I think it said like a good third or something of the, I can't, don't quote me on that, but it was a good chunk of the inmates 
weren't even there for serious offenses. They were literally awaiting trial for stuff as, as a, uh, like, literally for like jaywalking. Yeah. Stuff like that. They were literally just oh waiting my. for their trial, but they were just left there. <sighs> yeah. And so some, some of them were as young as I think it said, like, there was juveniles, like there was kids in there. Oh, that's so, so sad. So some of the inmates started banding together to protect them from the other inmates that were trying to yeah. get at them and stuff. Yeah, hor- horrifying. Absolutely, absolutely horrifying. Um, but anyways, after all that, after three days of that, they finally went back and got them, and they they took them to an overpass, basically, and just left them out there in the sun. And they said that they basically, yeah, there's a picture of it. They basically got as little as a PB&J like for the whole time they were that there. That is so sad. Yeah, and then they finally got them, they got them transported to a, like, correctional facility somewhere else, but still, like, they didn't have any of their records, you know, approved or whatever mm-hmm. fast enough, so they were just kind of outside for several days and stuff, even when they got there. Yeah, that is, all those prisoners just sitting out there. That is so sad. I mean, even I know like some of them probably have like killed people or, or you know, have yeah. done some wrong things, but they're humans too. There was that's, literally, that's what's so sad. But there was literally some people that just got caught jaywalking. Yeah. And they, they had to go through that. But that's so, not that's not fair of that yeah. was not right for whoever made the decision for just to leave them because if they all escaped, what yeah. they could have literally there's no telling what they could have done. <laughs> yeah. So all of the files and records were destroyed in the flood. So even after everything, all the hurricane had passed mm-hmm. and stuff, they all the records were gone. So the people that would have got out in just a couple, like a few days from, you know, jaywalking yeah. or whatever, they uh, they had to stay so much longer because That's they didn't have sad. paperwork. Yeah, and then to this day, the sheriff denies all of that. All of it happened. Oh. Um, yeah, he said that. He said that um, all of it was completely false, and to not trust heads with the new with the truth or whatever. What in the world? But yeah, I I learned this from this video. These guys actually went. A lot of the prison's been torn down, but there's one building still standing, and there's just like graffiti all in it and stuff, and like scary symbols everywhere. But they, the guy had done his research and he said that you can, you can go and read all of these prisoners that were there. You can read their testimony or whatever you can read. Yeah. And all of them lined up. All That's, of them lined up. The only differences see, makes, were like, depending on which part of the prison they were at, but all of the events. Well, what's that, what's so mind boggling is that they have all that. And if it lines up, I don't understand. That's enough evidence to over throw the whoever decided i guess the sheriff yeah i know one of my friends lives by i don't necessarily it's not like a i think it is a prison but it's more of a prison to where they go out and do things you know Mm -hmm. how they'll some will work at a stable or you know something (laughs) like that and something's going on over there but basically, there's like maybe two sheriffs on patrol at that Damn. entire. That's crazy. And it, she said it was a pretty good sized one. And I was like, you would never. <laughs> if I stayed over there and something happened, I will be speeding out of there. Yeah. We'll be peeling. Oh, I can't Can do it. Can you imagine being in there with like pitch darkness and it's just filling up with water? No. Mm-mm. And everything's. I mean, I was going to. It would sound kind of like the Titanic, but you wouldn't know. <laughs> yeah. Where did my phone go? I can't imagine that. That would just be... That's just too sad. Oh, put it over here. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, we got a little bit serious there for a second. Um, <laughs> all right, here's the question. Who the flip is Arnold Palmer? You Arnold Palmer? I mean? Yeah, you know what Ar- Arnold Palmer is? Yeah, a drink. Yeah, it's sweet tea mixed with... Yes, and it's good. 
Okay, he's a professional golfer. I feel like I should know that. But why the it, flip is that drink named after him? Probably because he's the one that started doing it. Did he really? I don't know. Imagine being so famous that you do you mix two drinks together and they name it after you. It's not even Yeah, see? I mean The story oh. goes that Mr. Palmer was at a golf course in sunny Palm Springs, California and ordered the combination of iced tea with lemonade. A woman seated nearby overheard him and told the waitress his, that she would have the same that Palmer drink. Listen, an Arnold Palmer, oh my Atlanta, if you have oh, the yeah. right tea They're great. and you have the right type of lemonade. I get it at Chick-fil-A can, every time. Mm, too good. Except they call it a Sun Joy. It's like I've never called it a Sun Joy. I'm like, shut up. It's an Arnold Palmer. <laughs> Have have respect for this man that I just learned about. <laughs> uh, yeah. At one of my my first job, we sold a lot of them, and I would drink this every single day. It's so funny some of the stuff that just makes it into our social norm, our societal yeah. norms. Like for real, ain't that the Arnold truth? Arnold Palmer. What do you think he thinks about that? Well, I hope he's making money off it. Hmm. He's. Is he alive? I don't know. <laughs> I didn't even. Think, I've never seen Arnold Palmer before. <laughs> pour, one, pour one out. Pour Arnold Palmer out for. Yep, he died 2016. Everybody out there, pour Arnold Palmer out for the boy. For the legend. Dang, 2016. Hey, he lived a full life. Yeah, I mean, think about it. He's got probably <laughs> one of the most mentioned names of anyone that's tr- that is true <laughs> probably more than kanye west oh uh, i don't <laughs> uh, now <laughs> no. now definitely not i bet you not a lot of people know what arnold palmer drink is yeah it sounds like it would be an alcoholic drink it does that when i first heard it that's what i thought it was you could probably make it into a pretty good one I'm going to get some lemonade vodka and some sweet tea vodka and mix them. You would be not seeing the next day. <laughs> yeah, just straight, just straight vodka mixed with straight vodka. <laughs> with, with lots of sugar. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's funny. Okay, I have another question. <laughs> All right, this one is... This one is is it about my man, Ron Weasley? <laughs> no, no. I'm surprised we haven't name dropped them. We're this far into the episode. <laughs> Can you imprison a magician? <laughs> Think about that. They are the masters of deception. They can escape a straight jacket. You know, the good ones, I'm saying. You know who could? The guy off the dead off of a family, modern family. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, know. think about it. You know, like Houdini, you know? I read a book about Houdini when I was in elementary school, and it was the weirdest book ever. What was some of the stuff you learned about Houdini? I guess when you spell it with <laughs> two O's, it's it's a it's an owl parody. Houdini. Houdini. Wow. Um, <laughs> what did I learn? I think he was married whenever he did, like, the the jacket thing. Mm-hmm. But did I don't... He, did he die doing a trick? I don't remember. I don't... Or did he go missing or something? I don't remember. I know he did, like, very, like... I know he did stunts that were just insane. H-O-U. Yeah, there he is. What era was this? 1800s? 1874. Died on Halloween. Did he really? Oh my word. That's spooky. He's buried in New York. Hmm. Seems like a pretty fitting place for him. Oh. Yeah. I don't I don't remember much about him. But it was just like I think I had to read for an assignment or something. I can't remember. I 
maybe it was like an AR where you had to read an autobiography or mm. what he wrote it. <laughs> no, like you know, like a. No, that would be a biography. Yeah, they all sound the same. Autobiography is when they write the write it oh, themselves. Oh well, anywho, I think that's what it was for, and it was a weird book. Huh. I need to I need to read up on Houdini a little bit. It was like a short book too. It was like this, like it was very thin. I'm convinced that magic is. I think you gotta, you know, you gotta do a little dark magic whenever you, like, to become a magician that does like David Blaine level stuff. Mm-hmm. I feel like you just have to sell your soul. I oh, feel like probably. there's. I mean, maybe that just makes me sound like a dumb, non-magic understanding person. But whenever <laughs> I see some of these tricks, I'm like, you there are- is no way unless you're actually manipulating my brain or you're, I don't know. I remember a magician came to our school one time and asked for a volunteer. So it was one of my classmates. So I knew it wasn't, I mean, I knew it was legit. They weren't in on the act. And uh, there was one trick where she laid down on two, like across two chairs, mm-hmm. and he pulled one of the chairs out, and she remained floating. And we were all like, <laughs> our, our little elementary brains were just blown. Uh, it's probably why we can't understand it is because we're, we're muggles. <laughs> what is that? Is that Harry Potter? Non magic folk. <laughs> <laughs> Gosh, dude. <laughs> <laughs> what percent of your brain do you think is <laughs> occupied by Harry Potter knowledge? <laughs> I don't know. It's like it's Harry Potter, The Hunger Games. <laughs> it's the all Twilight. Of the, the big blockbuster fantasy franchises based on books. Yes, pretty much. That's your jam. That is my jam. In musicals, I love me a good musical. And they're hard to find. Because I want the musicals that are like Footloose oh. and Grease. And- I like the, I like Harry Potter the most out of all of them. I actually genuinely like Harry Potter. I just haven't been able to sit through every single movie. I always make it... I've seen the first one several times. I've seen the second one a few times. And then after that, I just start getting more and more like spotty. Yeah. I, for some reason, I've seen The Prisoner of Azkaban... Is that how you say it? Yeah. I've seen that one. I've seen that one like three, maybe. That one's probably my favorite, even though I haven't seen all of them. I really They like get one. messed up. The dude, more I was you go so on. sad when, uh, dude, about freaking Hagrid's yes. Griffin, dude. I know. Well, I just rewatched the all the Hunger Games. And I don't know why I do that to myself. Because <laughs> they're just so good. Just keep watching the same ones when you I haven't do. seen Superbad or Titanic or a single Leo DiCaprio movie at that. <laughs> yeah, the first one, I've seen that one. Second one, yeah, I can't really remember what all My happens. favorite is still The Goblet of Fire because it has Robert Pattinson in it. But it's such a really <laughs> unique m- movie because it has different... It has the girls and then the guys. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what they're actually... It's oh, it's it's so good. Well made movies right there. It's it's crazy to think that those just kept coming out over the whole course of my yeah. childhood. And they're making a series, which I'm so pissed about. But you know, dude, and, there's just never. That's one of those series where they cast it so good that they just can never. Well, be. what's his name that plays Draco? Anyways, he's playing. The dad in the show. Really? Mm-hmm. Which I think that's pretty cool. Let's see if I had anything oh, else. Oh, yeah, Tom Felton. I have his memoir. Is that what it's called? And I haven't read it yet, but it looked really, really good. It talks about, like, Harry Potter and his journey through all of, all of the fame. Hmm. Hated him in the movies, though. <laughs> he did his job very he well. He did. He played it well. I 
I just did want... Ron write, write a book yet? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> no, he's too busy having children right now. Well, him, he's not pregnant. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. He Rupert ha- is Ru- with another woman? Rupert has... How do you a- feel about this? Rupert is married. Happily. How do you feel about this? Well, you know... Who's he married to? Georgia Groom. I'm going to guess she's... Yep, she's English. Yep. Well... I don't know what she's... I don't know if I've seen any of her movies, but... Are you I like, have no... I have that no... should be me. <laughs> that should be yeah. me. Yeah. No, I'm happy day. for him. <laughs> and he's having kids, and like, I'm like... I'm, I'm happy ex- for him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Deep down, I'm like, I'm not... Uh, but no, I am. I'm, Good for I'm her. glad he, I'm glad she's, he's... She's pretty. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> The mother she looks familiar, of, actually. The mother of your children. Now, I'm glad he's having kids, though, because he's such a funny guy, just <laughs> as a person. I don't think I've ever seen him not in his role as the iconic Ron Weasley. <laughs> well, but, you know, I'm just glad because some people don't have kids. Whoa, whoa, whoa. And- is he in Shrek? <laughs> is he really? What if he plays the gingerbread man? <laughs> it. Oh, Rupert. Yeah, it's one of those where it doesn't really have him listed as a character. Emma Watson too. You see that? That's weird. What was the role for <laughs> Rupert? Oh, despite the, I think his character got taken out of the movie. Said. Grant will play the title role of Clyde, the well-meaning and sweet yet slightly neurotic guy who never feels like he really fits in. Huh. Is that... Yeah, talking about Shrek. Yeah, I guess it It was one of those where he was cast and played an entire part, but then it didn't make the final cut. That's got to suck. For real. But at least they put him as... Like, credited him. Yeah, I guess so. It's kind of just confusing, though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, for the people that don't know, it would be. We need to have a uh, a Harry Potter watch party on the Patreon. For real, that would be what is so. That? What is that? <laughs> it looks Wait, like a game. Why does all this weird stuff come up when you look up Emma Watson? Live Shrek? action movie. Why does Shrek look like that? Fan casting. Emma Watson as Princess Fiona in Shrek. She's not, she not no Princess Fiona, dude. That one where he's buff. He's like weirdly what buff. What in the Harry Potter meets got, Shrek? It's is like that? all these weird AI things. Oh. What kind of weird rabbit hole did we just discover? <laughs> dude. Ugh. Oh my word. <laughs> No, click that one. The okay, wait. What the? What's that? <laughs> Hold on. What's the what? woman turned around on that? Yeah. <laughs> okay. What's the where he's his and big man? The one with his man titties. <laughs> it doesn't even show his head. <laughs> Look at his makeup. This is bizarre. <laughs> what? Is, what is going Ugh. on? <laughs> <laughs> that's the most disturbing one yet is that really did that, they really make that doll for beauty and well, the beast well it's like it click that <laughs> Justin Bieber yeah, what does that have to do with it <laughs> it does it? look like Justin Bieber and that picture the top right one oh kind of He's like, it looks more like Justin babe, Bieber than Emma babe. Watson <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. That was a weird little. His doll was so cool, though. Do you... look up his uh his doll. Beaver. <laughs> <laughs> Justin Beaver. <laughs> dude, y'all y'all had y'all. Oh, dude, no. what's so funny is that y'all each had one. Oh, no. So y'all as twin sisters, y'all had twin <laughs> Justin Beavers. <laughs> But they were identical. <laughs> Dude, and also, I remember you pressed the belly button for it to sing, which yep. is just a little disturbing it to me. It is a little disturbing. Remember me? Hi. 
<laughs> Love that. Like how this is the most 13 years ago YouTube video ever. <laughs> I mean, she really pushed it on his belly button. <laughs> Real denim jeans. <laughs> These were made by Levi. I wonder if she does any more doll recommendations like now or <laughs> like. Recommendations. <laughs> Y'all should Reviews. definitely get this Justin Bieber Barbie. Justin Bieber should come out with his new uh, with the new doll. Yeah, to update his look a little bit. That one had the chili bowl. <laughs> Why? He could you... rock the chili bowl though. It's hard for people to rock it, and yet he did. Well, go follow our stuff, please. Follow. <laughs> please. Follow us on Instagram. Nothing makes sense podcast. TikTok, Nothing Makes Sense Podcast. Subscribe on YouTube. Follow our personal accounts. Whatever. We're done. Catch up on the episodes if you've missed a few. Share it. I mean, every, if everybody just sends to one person, it will double our views. It's even math, if really. it's your grandma. Everyone can make a difference. I don't even care if you vote. Just go watch <laughs> our video. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, that's about it. So, see you next week. See ya, people.